everyone, this is Sandy. Welcome to Easy Cooking. So today's video is going to be all about Valentine's. I'm going to be making a three course meal, super easy to make, super delicious, very healthy. The preparation time is about 30 minutes for all three dishes and the cooking time is about 15 to 20 minutes. Let's get started. Let's go through the ingredients. We need one pound of shrimp, three to four pieces of turkey bacon, three mini sweet peppers or jalapenos if you prefer so, we also need one teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, a teaspoon of dry oregano, the zest of one lime, and two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. For the main dish, I'm using a pound and a half of fresh tilapia, but feel free to use any kind of fish you like. We also need two tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, two minced garlic cloves, two tablespoons of finely chopped parsley, salt and ground black pepper to taste. For the dessert, I'm making chocolate covered strawberries. The ingredients are 15 strawberries, 3 Hershey's dark chocolate bars, 1 baker's white chocolate square, 1 tablespoon of milk. Let's get started. I'm going to start with the strawberries because they will take the longest. Wash the strawberries and set them aside for a moment. I'm going to be using a double boiler, but you can melt the chocolate in the microwave if you prefer so. I added about 2 inches of water to the lower part of my boiler and I'll heat this water for about 5 to 6 minutes on medium high, just until it becomes really hot but without boiling. The upper part I have a small bowl with 1 tablespoon of milk and to this milk I'm going to be adding the chocolate. I crack the chocolate in big chunks just to speed up the melting process. Just let it hang in there until the chocolate is completely melted. Stir from time to time, this will take about 5 to 6 minutes. Once the chocolate is melted, I'll dip the strawberries in the melted chocolate. Place them in a sheet of parchment paper for easy cleaning and put them in the refrigerator until the chocolate has settled. For about 30 minutes. If you want, you can garnish your strawberries with white chocolate sprinkles or a drizzle of melted white chocolate. Or just a little bit of sugar. And that's about it. Leave them in the refrigerator until you're ready to eat them. Now let's prepare the main dish. In a skillet, add the butter and the oil. Also add the garlic and cook on very low heat for about 5 to 6 minutes or until the butter is completely melted and the garlic becomes translucid. Do not burn the garlic or your fish will have a horrible and very strong garlicky flavor. We don't want that for a romantic dinner. Once the butter is melted and the garlic becomes transparent, remove the skillet from the stove and we are also going to remove most of the garlic pieces from the butter. Just dispose of the garlic, we don't need it anymore. The flavor is already in the butter. Once you have removed most of the garlic, add in the chopped parsley and season with half a teaspoon of each, salt and ground black pepper. Mix everything together until well combined. We're going to cover the fish with this mixture. Just rub the oil really well over the fish and let it marinate for about 10 minutes before cooking. Bake at 400 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes or until completely cooked. I will be serving this fish with a salad just to keep this dinner light and healthy. But if you want, you can serve it with white rice instead of the salad. Either way, it's going to be delicious. To finish our meal, now we're going to make the appetizers. Rinse the shrimp under cold water, peel them off and remove the vein from the back. Continue to repeat these steps until you're done. Now we're going to slice the mini peppers into thin slices. We will also cut the bacon. I'm going to cut it in half, then in half again. The second time, I'm cutting it lengthwise. Set everything aside for a moment. In a bowl, I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, a teaspoon of dry oregano, a teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, the zest of one lime, and half a teaspoon of garlic powder. 
Mix everything together until all the spices are well combined with the oil and set everything aside for a moment. Now we're going to butterfly this shrimp. With a small knife, cut along the back of the shrimp, but don't cut all the way through. We just want to open the back of the shrimp a little bit, without slicing it completely. Grab a small knife and slowly cut along the back of the shrimp. Make sure not to cut all the way through, and just keep on repeating this step until you're done. Now we're going to cover the shrimp with the oil mixture. Once the shrimp is completely covered with the seasoned oil, we're going to start wrapping them with the bacon. We're going to grab a shrimp and a piece of sweet pepper. Place the pepper inside the opening in the back of the shrimp and finally wrap them both with the bacon. And that's about it, so grab a shrimp and a piece of sweet pepper. Place the pepper inside the opening and wrap them both with the bacon. Just keep on doing this until you're done. As you can see, I lined my baking sheet with parchment paper to prevent the shrimp from sticking to it. This step is optional. If you want, you can spray some cooking spray on your baking sheet. That will work just fine. Bake at 400 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes or until the shrimp is completely cooked. I'm serving the shrimp with a shrimp sauce I got at the grocery store I'll garnish with lemon wedges and fresh parsley. And that's it, enjoy! I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to visit my blog to print this and some other delicious recipes. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified of future updates. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!